do you usually like put a lot of weight on what the sim what it symbolizes sitting around a kitchen table turned artist studio is not something megan douglas has done before while she's been unfamiliar for the most part with indigenous culture and art that is changing. She's enrolled in Leadership Vancouver Island, working with a team on a project called Toolbox for Change, a local perspective on Indigenous culture. Initially, we had thought of doing sort of a traveling library in the school system, but it came to our attention that in with the new 2016 curriculum, children, that's already part of the curriculum, so children are being exposed to the local Indigenous culture and as well as the issues um, that that have come with that. Um, however, you know, adults in the business community they they don't experience that. They don't have access to that knowledge in their everyday lives unless they actively seek seeked it. The Toolbox for Change, an applied community project developed by Leadership Vancouver Island students, features commissioned work from Coast Salish artist Joel Good. Each animal on the steam-bent red cedar box represents the attributes and tools needed within a community as a whole to affect change and offers tools necessary for education. The box contains books specifically selected for this project by Strong Nations, Canada's leading First Nations publishing house. For Joel, this project, along with many others he's been commissioned for, presents an opportunity to walk in the footsteps of his ancestors. And Coast Salish is still rare by comparison to most other styles on the West Coast, so, which, is help, which helps enable the people to make a living off the artwork while learning. I mean, you have to make a living off the artwork to, be, to even touch the basis of what the artwork once was because the carvers were so, held so high in the community that's all they ever had to do. So in order to be on that level or be as good as they once were, you have to do it for a living. Joel apprenticed under his father, William Good, a master carver and historian. In First Nations culture, the creator isn't really depicted as an actual character. Megan, along with her five teammates, developed this project under the criteria of Leadership Vancouver Island to provide participants with a group learning experience with opportunities to apply leadership practices while addressing meaningful and current community issues. The Nanaimo Aboriginal Centre is a partner for the project. There's still a lot of uh, racism in our communities and in our country. Um, and I think these conversations are really important uh, to eliminating as much of that racism as possible. Uh, but more importantly, it's about relationship building. We are all in this together. Um, and this type of knowledge through the Toolbox project helps to, to move that conversation forward and those relationships to build and strengthen. Chris says he is more hopeful now than ever before in his life that reconciliation and understanding between cultures is possible. For Megan, the project fills a gap in her personal experience, exemplifying a gap in society. In my daily life, I'm not ex exposed to, you know, knowledge about the local Indigenous communities. And it's been very eye-opening as well as rewarding and re enriching to be part of this project and it's very exciting. I think really what it does is it starts a conversation or allows a conversation yeah. to continue yeah. that may have started already but it's an important conversation about awareness of cultural uh, of indigenous cultures and local indigenous cultures um, and an opportunity for I think business people specifically to be involved in that conversation. And for Joel, a part of that conversation is rediscovering the stories of his people, stories that were almost lost when Indigenous art, tradition and ceremonies were outlawed under the Indian Act of 1876. He looks for clues in old and tattered photocopies of pictures of Coast Salish art that was saved in museums. Simon Charlie was probably the first to start reviving the art form and then and then my dad came around later and started reviving Coast Salish art and, uh, and nowadays it's really amazing there's a lot of guys doing it. Joel's art and the books it contains will open doors of understanding and knowledge within the business community. Seven boxes in total are being created, five are for sale and two will travel on loan to local businesses and organizations under the care of the Nanaimo Aboriginal Centre. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kate Bergen.